what's up y'all so in this video i'm going to be cleaning up y'all i i gotta clean up this beauty room i'm gonna show you what it look like in a minute i am going to show you but i need to clean this bad boy and i just woke up i said i ain't even gonna take my head wrap off because i ain't got time to be doing all that and plus if you about to do some work which what i need that hair in my face for so i'm about to clean up and i'm thinking about like rearranging as well but I'm gonna take the camera off me. I know y'all kind of just don't really want to see me in this video, and you're not really gonna see me for him. But yeah, girl, I gotta I gotta clean all this shit up, and I kind of want to reorganize this shelf. I kind of want to do that, and I also I'm gonna show y'all this closet. I want to attack that closet. I am highly afraid to attack that closet, but I really want to do that. And then after I get it all nice and clean, vacuum up and stuff, then I want to look into possibly changing around my like filming setup but i don't know because i'm like tired of my computer being in it i don't know where else i could put it in this room and i want this to still be my office too so i don't know i'm just gonna see but let's get started <laughs> okay this is the mess on the floor <laughs> i don't really know how i want to organize it but i know that the best way to organize is to take everything down <laughs> oh my god just look at this like i gotta take all this down to take all of this down and then to just start by putting things that I want back up. So, I need to find out what I'm going to put it in, though. I need to get a clean area. Let me move this. I'm probably going to move this chair and stuff. And I'm just going to put all the products in this area. Let's do that. Should I vacuum first? No. I should not vacuum first. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put all the products from this shelf over here. Take a left up ahead, we're going towards the horizon. Don't stop going till we see the sun rising. You know, this is who we are, this is what we do. Driving in circles till we find something new. The only person I enjoy sitting in the car with is you. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. What's up, girl? I have successfully taken everything down off of this shelf. I've taken everything down. And so everything is laid out. There go my baby. Hi, Sky. I am stuck trying to figure out what I want to keep and what I want to give away. I guess I'm, I just want to start off with the brands that I really, really love first. I don't know where I want to put them, though. i got to map it out. I'm going to start off. By putting some of the prestige brands in one area. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get my Diva Curl, Riojo, Aveda. I'm going to put all those on a row. See, that's what I need. I need to write down which brands are going to go in the same row. That's what we're going to do. How many rows I got? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two smaller ones. So we got seven rows. Depending on how many products I have per brand is the issue. But first, we want to start off by which brand is going to be in which row. So that top row is never seen. So it's like I kind of need to try to avoid that row. It needs to be the products I don't use the most. It needs to be actually at the top. I can get up there to get them, but it's really high. I know products that I like don't need to be on that shelf or second one. First three rows are going to be products that I don't really like. And then the next three rows have to be my favorites. And then products that I don't really like. And it, not, I'm not saying I don't like them. But like I don't gravitate towards them that much. But I'm also going to be letting a lot of this go. Because I ain't got time. Okay. So basically I'm going to start off by doing row four. So in row four. That's where I want Diva Curl. And... Briogeo and Aveda. I'm going to have As I Am in Main Choice right below that. I'm going to put Orbe on the same line as the Aveda. As I Am, the Main Choice. I would like to put my L on the same line. I have way too many products of theirs. I don't know if I'll be able to fit all three brands. But then I might because I'm about to give away some a lot of the Main Choice products. So, yeah, I'll say and my L on that row. I should be able to fit three brands per damn row. And if I can't, I need to get rid of some products. Brand, I gotta get rid, gotta get rid. I got so many Shea Moisture products. What in the... Oh, and Curl Smith on the Diva Curl line. Those are like the, the lines that you probably find like Ulta, Sephora, stuff like that, you know. 
Okay, then Camille Rose. I like them. That's on the, the row right here. Curls, T G I N, and then do my moisture. I'm gonna put Shea Moisture and Texture ID. And these are great products. I feel like they're for when my hair needs moisture. And so I'm gonna put those on the same row because the, the Shea Moisture is good for moisture. Texture ID is good, but it's like very thicker products. I do have this, the Andre Walker line if i can fit that on the same line as diva curl i will i have this entire line right here that i ain't even used yet i'm gonna give this away it's called one and only and it looks like they just got a bunch of shampoos and conditioners i'm definitely gonna give some of that away because i don't need that many more shampoos and conditioners so that line gotta be gone you gotta be gone sir like i have a lot of lines that i only have like two products i don't know where i want them to go i think they're gonna go up above that kinky curly i only have the kinky curly not today and the gel so that i only have two products from them oh uh, we dad we dad is a prestige brand but i only have two of those so that can still fit on the same line as diva curl i'm just gonna andre walker might have to get xed because on the bottom those bottom rows i kind of want my eco that's why i want my wet lines and my eco stylers to be all right y'all i think this should be it let me put these brands we're gonna have to find these brands first and then put them up on the shelf and then see what we're working with because i don't want to crowd that shelf up i want it to be nice and spacious all right so first all of my diva curl product and y'all can see it's a little dusty and stuff up here so let me go ahead and wipe this down first then we'll go ahead and add those diva curl products so i am already over this your girl had to get her a nice beverage I actually have a beer it's a beer the core's light because i'm just over it y'all and i ain't put the first thing on the chef i ain't clank the chef i ain't putting that on it i'm already over it it's so overwhelming just looking at it it's all on the flow and stuff that i gotta do but i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do it right now i don't know if i actually introduced my shelving unit to you guys but this is the algot system from ikea and i built it well it's not really a building situation but you just got to know how to put things on your wall and you'll be gucci but yeah it wasn't that expensive i think it was like a hundred and something or this one actually may have been cheaper i think it was like probably 40 60 maybe so you customize your own thing and you measure out the wall that you're going to put the stuff on and then you Figure out what you want. So like you can get small shelves, you can get big shelves, you can get drawers, you can get anything put into the Algot system. But I chose what I wanted to do so it's customized to your own little nooks and areas and stuff which is so cool. But yeah, I realized I didn't show you guys or tell you guys exactly where I got my shelving from. But it is, it's from Ikea. So let me clean and then I'll come back. I mean, not only are products down here, I'm like looking up here, I'm like, I got cans up here, girl. Look at these Diva Curl products. About to get left behind. No products left behind. All kinds of stuff. Okay, we're gonna put these <laughs> on the shelf and then try to see if I can find any other Diva Curl products because I feel like I do have something else. So this is how I organize my products. So as you guys can see, I have the one condition decadence right here and this is the same product i wanted to basically make it look like a store that's the whole goal is to feel like i'm walking into a beauty supply store that's how i like it but sometimes brands don't give you multiples of each thing and that's okay and you'll see how i organize those but as far as when they do and or you buy more you know you know what i'm saying you got multiples of stuff because i know when i see that main choice sale girl you gotta get multiples of your favorites but i like to just stack them in front of each other like this and so all of this is the one condition decadence all of this is the no poo one decadence and y'all probably like girl you know you ain't gonna use all this girl yes i do if y'all don't know like i wash my hair with diva curl a lot like this is bae like I've been through a few bottles, okay? Anyway, so then, like, I don't have a lot of ultra-defining gels. I don't have a lot of the same other stuff. So let me show you guys how I do that as well. But I do have that. And I have two of the Heaven and Hairs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them because I don't think... Actually, I think it's empty. <laughs> That's empty. Good day, ma'am. So I have one of these... That goes right there in the wash day wonder. 
Put that right there, that bad boy. Right there. This one is leave-in decadent. That's my fan in the background. But I have the Diva Curl all sorted out. I have Briogeo, Curl Smith, and a few Veda products. I actually have um, a ton of Veda products down there, but I just haven't put them up here yet because this is like my base chef like this chef may change and they all may change but I've added some as I am products here and some Orbe products as well so I'm just gonna be adding products seeing if they look right right there and rearranging I might bring some down from here and vice versa and stuff this is what I got so far so I got the diva curl up here I got all my as I am and this is how I've organized them by collection you guys should know that's how kind of how I do it by collection and by products, so like I have additional co-washes like, as you can see, this is a coconut co-wash. It's directly behind the coconut co-wash right here. So I like to try and see as much as I can like at a glance. But as far as like this line, I only have one product of each of this line. So I know that within this line of products, I have my shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in. Because that's just how As I Am does it. They, when they release something, they always have a shampoo, conditioner, and a leave-in off-rip. And they have co-washes and stuff. So it's kind of easy to stack theirs up. So as you can look, you'll see the collection. And then for these, like I have multiple coconuts. So yeah. I have multiples of stuff like the co-wash so this is the co-wash down here so I hide the other products behind the product basically and this is a smoothie so it's showcasing the smoothie and also the co-wash it looks nice and neat I also needed food so I got me some firehouse up and it's so good and my pickle um mm-hmm I love pickles you like pickles I'm going to have to get rid of some of these main choice products. They're just collecting dust because I do not use any of them. So my favorite lines, you guys know, is the Tropical Moringa. So I will keep this collection. And I'll keep the first collection and the Ancient Egyptian collection. But as far as the Do It For The Culture, I didn't particularly like this one. Or the um, Heavily Halo. The Pink Lemonade. Those are my least favorite from the main choice so I'm gonna just like give this away so a lot happened since the last time I talked to y'all not a lot as far as like me being done cuz I'm not but I got a new camera and it's like all 4k out and y'all gonna see that quality really soon which is so exciting but I did get some stuff done on the shelf so I've been like switching a lot of stuff up because this area right here can only hold products that like aren't really tall so if I was to get something like the texture ID that wouldn't fit up in there so I need a product line that has like all short products because texture ID is long and so it has to go here because these are different heights clearly this is the biggest one and then it gets kind of smaller now what I should do is lift that one but I have those big bottles back there that needs it so I don't want to do that I don't want to do that and I could have brought everything else up but this is what we have so far you guys and i'm thinking about giving a lot away because i don't want to put all this stuff back up here it's already crowded right now and it has like majority of my favorites and i still got the rest of this to go y'all like this is not a joke this is a lot of stuff so i'm still going through this stuff i'm gonna think i'm about to put the my moisture products that i have i think i'm gonna put those right by the Mish products. So I haven't really gotten into all of the products that my moisture has like sent over to me. I've used a few, but I haven't used every line. So I actually have so many of their products and I don't want to just give them away because I haven't tried them. So that's what we're about to do. Put that over there by Mish. Hopefully they fit. <laughs> hey guys, it's actually the next day and I finished it up yesterday. I finished up the shelf. I finished up all of the products that I'm giving away. Here is my vacuum cleaner. It came from Amazon. I already broke it somehow, so I had to tape it up. But anyway, it's so lightweight and it has like a nice charging station. But anyway, it's time to get the hair up. All of my hair. Look how it just gets it right on up, friend. 
I'm also gonna do carpet cleaning. This spot right here is shampoo that spilled. I got hair everywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna vacuum all of this up and I'm gonna carpet clean it because I have not carpet cleaned and I have a carpet cleaner because of this one. This one right here pooped all over the house and I had to get a carpet clean, didn't I? Didn't I? Like I was saying you guys, I have successfully finished my shelving and you guys might be looking at this like damn did you remove anything sis yes i did <laughs> funny you should ask because there's two big bags boxes boxes of stuff i got like collections on collections i literally have three main choice collections in here it looks so much better so the way that i organize these products basically like i told you guys i wanted all of my products that are like prestige to be on one row and then my the other products that i like but then i had to start rearranging everything by size like i told you guys before but this is what i came up with these are the products that i feel like i will absolutely pick up at any time so I'll be like it's wash day and I would really want to use any of these products I really wanted this shelf to just show everything that I really like a lot of products that I had up there it was like I would use something in the collection but not most of the collection I was really really picky with the selections that I had that's why I have a lot of stuff to give away if my hair is looking weird it's really because I just took it out of my pineapple and I shook it and it's all you got but anyway so this is what it's all looking like, you guys. I'm absolutely in love with it. I've been trying to test out my camera. As you guys can see, your girl got the EOS 90D Canon. I have this new um, microphone as well. If you guys really want a tour of my beauty room, let me know in the comment section below and I'll give you like a full tour with my setup. I will let you guys know if I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, but I hope you guys really like these organization videos. If you do, let me know below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Ooh, I'll take, take, take the